deer and the antelope play. And who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, all-American boy. Right according to that sun, we're about 20 minutes early. Might as well just relax until Dickie gets here. Glenn Ramsey at your service, sir. You about go lame? Not that horse, Major. Oh, you know this man, Sergeant? Sergeant's got a good memory, Major. Good to see you again, Richmond. It's been a long time. Yeah, hasn't it, though? I see you're still riding the buckskin. That's right. Well, <laughs> now, isn't it a small world? I mean that you two should meet again like this way out here. The world's as small as you make it. You see, the Sergeant and I used to wrangle horses together. I still say that bronc ought to be mine. You want to sell him? I might in exchange for your right arm. He's a fine animal. Sure. As I've told you before, Sergeant, when you want something, take it. Get them out. Looks like you cut yourself out quite a battle this time, Major. He's the range rider. Got himself quite a reputation. I'm afraid his reputation would suffer considerably if anyone was to see him now. Hold up, let's ride. I got the mount for you, Sergeant. I can't waste valuable time teaching you to cinch up. Every time I leave you alone, you always get in trouble. What happened? Looks like the Army needs horses. Horses? Where's Rawhide? Uh, the cavalry confiscated him. You don't make sense. Uh, nothing about this makes sense, Dick. Except the one soldier. I used to know the guy as a wrangler. I don't get you. Well, he's wanted Rawhide for a long time. Well, let's go get him. Nah, we'd never catch him riding double. We're going to the fort. I got a score to settle with the Army. Commander, Colonel? I am. May I help you? I hope so. Is there a Major Clinton Ramsey assigned to this post? There was. Was? Major Ramsey was ambushed and killed six months ago. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the Ranger. How do you do, Ranger Rider? This is my partner, Dick West. How do you do, Mr. West? Won't you sit down? Thank you. I know your reputation, gentlemen. Now, what can I do for you? A man who presented himself as Major Ramsey knocked me out with his saber and stole my horse. He had two men with him. One was a sergeant and the other a private. You mean you know them? Only by their deeds. The man you're after is an imposter and, incidentally, the murderer of the real Major Ramsey. With Major Ramsey's credentials, he and his men have been robbing and killing the homesteaders. But the worst part of it is that the Army's getting the blame. 
And you've been unable to stop them? It's impossible to cover the whole settler's trail. We haven't enough men. I sent for replacements, but... You know how they operate? Always the same. They offer escort to the wagon, lulling the homesteaders into false security, and then they strike. But they always strike at the richest wagon. Well, in that case, it sounds like they're getting inside information. I agree, but where? Would you send out any advance orders on these wagons? Only escort orders when a valuable wagon is going through a fort. Maybe they're getting their information over the telegraph wires. No, we checked every pole along the line. Not a sign of a listening post anywhere. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you were busy. Come here, son, come here. This is Major Ramsey's grandson, Bobby. Bobby, this is the range rider. Glad to know you, sir. Hello, Bobby. And this gentleman is Mr. Dick West. You too, Mr. West. Uh, yeah, hello. Colonel, can you outfit a wagon for our use? Of course. Hey, what do you got in mind, compadre? Well, I was thinking, Dick, since this phony Major Ramsey is so elusive, maybe we can get him to come to us. Sounds like an idea, anyway. What's your plan? I think Dick and I'll be settlers for a while. Colonel, sir, I respectfully request that you let me accompany these gentlemen on this mission. I know just how you feel, Bobby, but we need every good man we can get right here at the fort. Sir, I... As your commanding officer, the answer is still no. Yes, sir. It's quite a youngster. He's going to be a real army someday. His grandfather was all the family he had. Go load that wagon, Dick. Now we've got a double debt to collect. Thank you, Colonel. All right. Well, right. oh, Colonel, looks like we're all set. I'll telegraph for an escort right away. Thank you very much. Say goodbye to Bobby for us and tell him we won't let him down. I'll do that. Brad, Diablo. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Send out routine escort orders for the wagon that just left here. Yes, sir. Needs an army escort? That's what it says. Looks like it's our duty to relieve him of the unnecessary burden he carries, huh? <laughs> hey, how about taking the reins for a minute? I'd like to stretch out in the back. Go ahead. Imagination's getting larger. Stop the wagon a minute! We haven't got time and you know it. Yeah, but I got somebody back here. Well, the pretty girl, bring her up and introduce her. Yeah, I will, just as soon as I put a bullet through it. Don't shoot! It's me! It's Bobby! Bobby? I thought the Colonel gave you orders to stay back at the fort. I'm sorry, Range Rider. I didn't want to disobey, but I just had to come along. Well, it's too late to turn back now. We're almost to the main trail. Well, let me know when we get there, and I'll keep an eye on him. Yeah. Hey, what you got there, Bobby? Just a trick. Well, what is it? Tell me. Put a finger in each end. Okay. Here. What's the trick? Now get them out. Oh, sure. Come on. Turn me loose. Oh, now look, Bobby. No tricks. We're, we're in a dangerous position. It's the main trail, Dick. Better come up front. 
See, now I'm in trouble. Get me out of here. <laughs> here, I'll show you how. Well. Well, come on. There. Oh. Hmm. Well, that was easy. Are you coming? Yeah, right away. Since we've got Bobby along, we have to be real careful, so be sharp. Gotcha. like a prime objective, men. Good. Let's make it quick. Well, young men, were the biscuits good? Yes, sir. Not bad at all. Here they come. Just relax, Dickie. Act natural. Bobby, lay down flat. Don't say a word. Agent Clint Rams here at your service, sir. Howdy. Uh, you the men sent out as an escort? We'll assure you a safe journey to the next port. Oh, sure glad to have you along. Carrying a lot of valuables. We'll check the wagon, then we'll be on our way. Surprise, gentlemen. I'll back up about four feet and I'll join you. Round in front. Just sit, Major. From here on out, we're running this show. Masquerade's over, Major. Get off your horse. I underestimate you, Range Rider. I'll know better next time we meet. If there is a next time. I'll get the horses. Bobby, look out! Now, as our friend so aptly put it, from here on out, I'll run the show. You should have shot him, Range Rider. He killed my grandfather. Get back on the wagon. Time to those supports. Does the telegraph instrument surprise you, my friend? Would you think we had a crystal ball? It's my understanding all the telegraph wires have been checked. Oh, they were, pole by pole. But the trees and brush along the line were neglected. An unhappy oversight on the Army's part. Tie them tight. Another move out of you and I'll break your little neck. Yeah, better take that, Steve. I'll finish by Escort delayed. Request you hold payroll stage until arrival. Signed, Colonel Travis. Payroll stage, huh? Yeah, that's not all. It's on the road. That means the stage riders have no way of knowing about this dispatch. Sounds like a setup to me. Boys, we've just about played this army game out. But it ought to work just once more. We'll grab that payroll and get out of the territory. What about these two? Get that box of dynamite. Well, there's not much left. Eh, enough to blow this shack to smithereens. Set it over there between them and feed out that fuse to me. Why not just shoot them? Then we'd have to dispose of the bodies. This way, they just disappear. What about the boy? He can't hurt you any. Quite the contrary. He can help me. It's like a game of chess in case I need to exchange a pawn for a queen. Easy, my friend. Easy. 
Besides, you should know it would be against my sensitive nature to harm a youngster. <clears throat> You're not going to set that off now, are you? I mean, a very long fuse. I'm never going to set it off. The Army is. The Army? I'll rig this fuse on the receiver so that it ignite when the next message comes over. Better fan out a little gun part and make sure it catches. It. It'll be a pleasure. Come on, Sonny. Range Rider, don't let them take me. I'd rather die than go with them. Don't worry, son. No harm will come to you once we're out of this territory. You got any ideas? Yeah, get loose. Yeah, how? Outpost depot's over there. Keep the boy out of sight. Right. Soldier boys wasn't supposed to be a coming. The orders were changed. That so? Set yourselves down. I'll stir up a pot of coffee. Much obliged. Don't mention it. Always glad to help the army. <clears throat> they got me tight so tight. Cut off the circulation, I came feel my hands. If a message comes over that telegraph key, we won't feel anything. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Yeah? What you got in your hands? Come on, kid, let me see. Come on! Hey, how's it work? Simple. Just put a finger in each end. Yeah? Now what I do? Now get him out. You gotta pull. Hey, what is this? Pull harder. I am pulling hard. Good. Hey, come back here! Hey, Major, the catch loose! Hey, Major, the catch loose! What is it? These men are killers. They're gonna rob the payload stage. What? We'll appreciate no interference, old timer. Get in that room and close the door. As for you, he tricked me. I can't get my fingers out of this thing. I'll show you how. Hold your hands out. What? You heard me. Hold your hands out. Now, just in case the message hadn't already ignited that fuse back where our two friends are. Oh, 
boy, that was close. Come on. We gotta get to the outpost for that stagecoach. The depot is just ahead. Let's go. Well, you're the boss. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I don't think we can get in. So I think we should invite them to come out. Oh, yeah, just like that. Send them an invitation, huh? Well, that's close. Remember that telegraph key that got inside? Give me your spur. Give me that crowbar. to a party, huh? Yeah. Go around the other side of the front door. They should be accepting it pretty soon. Disregard previous message concerning delay in escort. Payroll stage rerouted through Mesa City. And it switched on us. He'll intercept the stage before it gets to Mesa City. What about the boy? Leave him here. He's no good to us now. Steve, rip those wires off. I guess these crooks will never learn. I did like you said, though. I got those other guys all tied up, and I got lonesome. Help me put him on the horse. This is the end. <laughs> 